everybody, we're at the ATA show and uh, we're the hunting junkies and we're here with uh, Jason from Rackology and we got our hunt uh, giveaway. So you can go to Rackology on Facebook and you can like and share our pinned post there and it's gonna register you for a hunt giveaway. You're gonna come to our personal property that we've been managing with Rackology for several years now and it's during the rut. So this is not, uh, you know, in the end of January. This is prime time season with the biggest deer in the country are there and all you have to do is go to Jason's Facebook page at Rackology and go ahead and like and share that. Uh, you'll see the graphic right there and what we're here today to do is we're managing this property strictly for trophy bucks. Um, we've had Rackology products for about two years out there. Now this year we're starting from January till November strictly with Rackology products from A to Z and Jason's kind of designing the plan for us so we, we just received your shipment of uh, minerals and um, attractant. So why do we need to get this stuff out like now and how's that gonna affect us in the rut come November? So in, in all the studies that I've done, I, I actually did my master's in biology on antler growth and deer, and deer nutrition, gestation, you know, all that. And the, and the big thing that, that kept coming back to me is not only are the, the, nu the nutritional requirements for deer um, for antler growth, fawn gestation. Say end of January, February, March, April, those are the three to four month time frame when the minerals that are put on the deer skeleton that will determine the antler growth for the fall antlers. So a lot of times what people do is they, they put out their minerals in the summertime saying, okay, now they're growing it. And I want to make- We were guilty of that, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and it, simply what it is is, it's the, the overuse of advertising of just put this out and we'll grow you giant deer and the lack of education. I'm, I'm a science teacher. I'm a high school science teacher, biology teacher. Like I said, I did my master's on this. This is, this is my field. This is, you know, deer. And, and the big thing that a person needs to realize is there's a time window when the deer need to be taken in nutrition over the winter months which will dictate how their antlers end up size-wise, everything in the fall, based off of their genetic potential. Fawn gestation, skeletal development, milking the summer months. You need this stuff out all winter long. You know, we work with clients from all over the place that, you know, they may have this dollar amount and they have this, may they have this dollar amount. And but what I help them do is design a plan that's tailored for, you know, what they can afford. You know, I'm a teacher, Eric's an agronomist, it's not that we need this, the, the money. So this, we're not doing this like as a job, this is a passion. So we're not gonna tell somebody, hey, you need to buy thousands of dollars of this stuff. You tell us what you wanna do and we'll design a program for that. But that's the reason why we need to do that over the winter months. And get it out now versus in January when they're already halfway grown or in July when the yeah. antlers are already there. Yeah. Now, through, now through spring and summer, because then over the summer months what they do is they put back on their skeleton what they took off for the antlers so when they go into the rut they're not breaking bones okay so okay so we've been running uh we've moved to multiple food plots and we think that's benefiting our property um we think the different varieties of the clover and then the uh, brassicus mix that we use uh, the turnips the radishes we see like the herd kind of maybe breaking up and one goes this way and one goes that way it's not all, everybody's not concentrated in one area um, once we get into the actual feeding on the food plots, what benefit does that have to the deer herd and holding the, the big bucks and the deer on our property so somebody's got a great shot at a nice buck come November? Well, with the food plot, by having the food plots on your property, essentially what that does is deer are like humans. They don't necessarily want to eat the same thing every day, right? So by having Multiple Different, food plots. Multiple food plots and in the food plot, multiple species of plants. What you're going to do is you're going to attract their palate. You know, what, what, they're, what they're, not even their taste. Deer can sense the nutrition that they need. Just like, you know, when, when women are pregnant, how they have these <laughs> off-the-wall cravings. Pickles and ice cream, yeah. There are certain nutrients that they're craving that their body has already told them, hey, when I ate that in the past, that was in there, and that's why I want this now whether it's a higher fat diet with the milk and the ice cream, you know, or the certain minerals that are in the pickles and in the vinegar. Those are things that deer sense, and so they'll move around the plot and they'll pick at different plants at different weeks based off of the, the growth phase and stage of what those plants are at. And when you couple that with a number of different types, you know, like the brassicas, 
the, the perennials with the clovers and the chicories, they'll, they'll seek those out at different times. And so, you know, and if you watch your food plot, and this is kind of fun to do if you got the time, watch your trail cameras and you'll start to see a pattern throughout the year of what these deer are kind of needing and what they're craving. And that'll help you harvest them later on in the season knowing, hey, last year at this time of the year, this is what they're hammering. So that's the reason why, you know, with the food plots, it's such a, it's such a benefit to do. And then you, you know, you couple that with our food plot fertilizer. It's literally, guys, it's the only food plot fertilizer on the market that you can supplement your deer through your food plot. It's got all the minerals that are in a chelated form that the plants can actually take up, that the deer need. You know, otherwise the plants don't take up stuff and go, hey, we, we want to feed the deer. Yeah. This allows them to take it up that the deer need. And it, it helps the bacteria that are already in the soil be super happy, super healthy, reproduce like crazy. And what that does then is it breaks down all this organic matter that's got locked up nutrition, thus releasing even more nutrition to the plant. And the carbon that's in it now will hold more moisture in the soil. Um, just when you have super healthy soil and the nutrients are there, you're gonna have super healthy plants and the deer, you're gonna literally be able to supplement your deer through your food plot with our stuff. Nothing like it on the market. We got some pretty good sized people in this industry that are going nuts over our products. In fact, just the other morning after breakfast, <laughs> got to meeting with Fred Eichler and he goes, you can tell everybody that I use this and that I love this stuff. And this stuff grew in Southern Colorado where it's dry. Yeah. Is it gonna grow every place? Well, if you have a drought or a flood, you need nothing's, the basics, yeah. Yeah, nothing's bomb proof, right? I'm not gonna promise you that you're gonna grow a 180 inch deer. I'm gonna promise you that you're gonna, you're gonna grow, you're gonna maximize your deer's genetic potential and that's what you're gonna grow, right? I mean, it's no false promises here. Right, well that's what we're confident in. Uh, we've been managing this property for about 20 years, mainly for trophy deer. We have taken trophy deer on this and now it's turned into our area is literally the number one big buck uh, county literally in the world. So we really appreciate Rackology coming on with us, giving us the opportunity to bring the science to our property that we, we got the genetics, we've got the property, and now we've got the backing of somebody like you to give us something that could be, you know, just off the charts. So 10 years ago, we didn't have this kind of science. We, we were, you know, in the dark with how we were doing our food plots. So that's why we want to do this hunt giveaway. Rackology is the main sponsor. We're going to put everything out on the table this year. Uh, he's going to make sure that everything that we have out in those fields is exactly the way it's supposed to. So go to Rackology on Facebook, register for the hunt, and hopefully we see you in November out in Ohio.